Hi, it's Corey again, Modbar. Um, I would like to show you how to program and use the touchscreen and encoder ring on the Modbar pourover unit. This is basic programming for the module. Um, we've designed it to be as easy to use as possible. Um, all values are going to be changed on the encoder here. You have a rotational encoder wheel. There's a joystick. It's up, down, left, right. And then the center is a push button. Selecting values on the screen is all done by touch. So let's go and do a walk through the system. The tool icon on the bottom right will get you back to the, uh, the main menu. Here you see a house, which is home, of course, and then you have a, uh, another tool icon, which takes you into other settings, and then there's a the gear icon, which is done uh, for updating the system. Down on the bottom there's a little I for information. This button will tell you what the, um, what the software and hardware versions are of the circuitry that's in the mod bar. Every screen has a back arrow on the top left to go back to the previous menu. By pushing home, you go back to the main display. Back into the menu, if you push the tools icon, there's some settings that you can play with. Pressure units can be changed from bar to PSI to KPA. This isn't very applicable in the pour over machine because we're not doing a lot of pressure management inside of the module. Basically, we're talking about flow and temperature here and uh, time based dispensing. Um, the flow rate's controlled for this module on the back of the module on the outlet line for, um, for the tap. There's a flow control valve that's manually adjustable. We can do our temperature units in Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. Scott Guglielmino wanted to do Kelvin, so we have Kelvin. Uh, volume units can be displayed in milliliters or ounces. Under the advanced settings here, we have a, a value called line volume. If there's discrepancies in your dispensed volume versus what's actually reading out on the display, you can adjust that here by making um, small adjustments to the line volume value. Basically, it's talking about how much volume is in the line between the module and the tap. If we can get that close to, to, real, to reality there, then there won't be a discrepancy between the amount of water that's dispensed and the amount that the machine is reading on the, on the main control panel. So here on the home screen you can see that we're always reading volume. Let's go back to milliliters since that, um, that's my preferred unit. So there's milliliters again and here's the home screen. Now we're reading out in milliliters. You'll see when we dispense program that we start counting milliliters and right now there's a pause for line volume. So now that we're dispensing you see that we're counting the milliliters that are dispensed. So the good way to cal calibrate this feature is to just weigh the water that you've dispensed and then see what the milliliter readout is on the display and you can make an adjustment to line volume based on the differential. Okay. Now when it comes to temperatures we have, a, we have an inlet boiler and an outlet boiler inside of the system. Here they are. We're running in Celsius right now. Um, we're always keeping the we're keeping the pour over modules in our case uh, just slightly over boiling so that we're accounting for any temperature losses and we want to dispense about 208 degrees outside of the uh, out of the wand. This is obviously adjustable for your preference. If that's too hot for you, you can change the temperatures down. Here is the inlet boiler temperature, and by pushing on the name of the boiler, you go to the outlet boiler temperature. To make a change to these temperatures, all you do is touch the temperature. It's good to know that our indications here for PV and SV, what they mean. So PV actually stands for process value. That's the value of temperature that we're actually reading in the outlet boiler right now. SV is set value. That's what we want the temperature to be. So here's your inlet boiler. That's the actual process value, 202.4 or 102.3 now. Um, inlet boiler set to 102. We're pretty much in range. Outlet boiler, um, 104 and following um, set points, 103. There it goes, back to 103. You'll note too on the upper right hand corner of the screen, this is the same for all of Modbar's modules, is when the machine heats, there's a red light up here indicating that the heat element is on. It's a good thing to reference sometimes. 
they're not needing the heat right now, so we're not seeing the red flash, but we will see that happen when the heat elements are on. And that's individual per boiler. There's the flash right there. Okay, so to change temperatures, what we do is select the boiler we'd like to change. It highlights it for us. If you want to do one whole degree increments, you just uh, turn, the, turn the encoder right or left. There's 100C. If we want to do decimals, we just push the joystick up and down. There we go. So 99.9. .9. Push enter and you're set. The same thing, you can go to the inlet boiler and make the same adjustments. Just like that. So now I want to show you some other parts of the menu. Um, on the bottom left of the screen, you'll see it says idle. When we're playing back, the machine will read dispensing. This corresponds to the, um, the dispensing button. Um, the light on the button will actually fade in and out. When you're programming the module on the tap, it says recording. This corresponds to the button flashing when you're using the tap. And then when you store the profile, it'll provide you done recording message so that you know that you've you've actually stored the profile. Okay. So let's go back into the menus here. We've already gone through the units menu and line volume settings under the advanced menu there. And then here, the final menu on this machine is the gear icon, which takes you to the, uh, the updating screen. So what we have is um, a menu that facilitates updating the module via USB key. There's a USB port on the module. And I'm going to try to move over there so you can see it. There it is. This takes a USB flash drive. So you can insert a flash drive with Modbar firmware and update the system.